good morning guys and welcome back to the vlog so i'm just vlogging from the car i'm really hoping i've just put my camera up on um like a tripod thing but it's new so let's hope it doesn't fall but i'm just pulling in now to mr village as you can see from the title of this video i'm gonna be oh there we go it didn't work Okay, take two, because I'm driving very slow now, but I'm just pulling into Bista because I'm meeting my friend Amy. I feel like we always meet at Bista and do a little girl's trip, and I haven't met her new baby born, which will be very, very exciting. And I'm actually going to Ibiza next week. Ibiza is on the cards, which is very exciting, but I wanted to come Bista, see if I could get some bits for summer, like spring, summer, but I usually always come on a Monday because that's when they have their deliveries and it's always less busy, but I'm actually coming on a Friday Friday today so I'm gonna see how it is um, and as we know Bista is always hit and miss like it's either really good things in the shops and you end up getting loads or it's just an absolute no-go so fingers crossed it'll be a successful shopping trip but I am gonna go meet Amy now at the apartment I always love starting the shopping trip at the apartment it's so nice there if you are a Soho member you can also go um, or you can sign up I believe as well if you like shop at Bista regularly so we'll have a coffee, I'll meet Hugo, her little baby, and then we'll start doing some shopping. I also, of course, want to have a look in at Soho Home, because whenever I'm here, I always manage to find some really good steals from there. And obviously, I'm just buying a lot of home stuff at the minute, trying to make our house a home. So hopefully, I can get some good bits from there as well. So I'm just pulling up now with um, the apartment as well. You actually get valet parking, which is really nice. So I will check in once I'm in the apartment. So I'm just in the apartment now. Honestly, the interiors in here always goes. I feel like I say it every time I come. And I actually forgot to show my outfit. Maybe I'll show you in the mirror. But it's actually raining today, so I wanted to wear trousers. I was gonna wear a pretty dress, but I'm very excited to see Amy and the baby. and literally this is not the day we plan with the rain but we're having a fun time we just sat in the apartment for a little bit catching up and we've got baby Hugo here but he's asleep um, but we're hiding under the umbrella as you can see Amy's multitasking like Sorry. super mum um, but we're gonna go ahead I think to Soho aren't we yeah do you want to have a look in white company as well maybe yes definitely. um I always get my soaps from there because they're always like 50% off I actually got such a nice robe the other day it was like navy oh did you get one for the baby Yes. I was going to get Sheree but my oh, sister, God. um, yeah it's really coming down now. I thought it was going to be nice this bank holiday but, oh well, we still have fun shopping. just in Prada and I was just saying I've actually got my Bali flats on that I got here last time and just to let you know they are still here in stock I absolutely love them I mean I've literally got my crossbow wear out of them so highly recommend bad news guys literally from yesterday I mean count our luck that they, they got rid of Soho home which is like our favorite store we are so good I mean, she literally said yesterday, which means yesterday must have been like a good clearance day. Apparently it like comes and goes and I'm so good that it's gone now because that's the store. I always shop at. Have you got them? They're on there. Ah, how much? How much were they in the store? You said two of Yeah, such a good saving. So Ames wants these Loewe tra trainers and she's just seen them on their poor for like 400 and in the store they're 200 so we're going to go back for those but we've just had a quick browse around some of the stores like White Company, we went in Prada but I was hoping in Prada there would be like a beachy canvas kind of bag but there literally was like no options. It's kind of like I said, it's always hit and miss. So I'm going to go back in Loewe and see if Ames gets the trainers. So these are the trainers that Amy is looking after. They do actually do these in the high tops which I think are really cool and they have the Loewe logo but these are the low tops that Amy's interested in. I think these are 202. She's got the one with the label on and online they're going for 400. Um, not exact price, but around about that. Amy's gone now because she's had to head off for 
the other baby but honestly it just felt like it's a bit of a failed trip this time I don't know if to just save myself and come back another time and I feel like this is just telling me that I should always just come on a Monday because I feel like coming on a Friday is always a bit busier and like there's a massive queue for Dior like you have to queue 40 minutes because they're basically making a bigger Dior the one at the minute is like a temporary smaller store so I'd love to come back and see the bigger one but I just feel like there's nothing that's catching my eye I'm just in Burberry and this is actually quite a cool like summer tote bag I feel like this is given very like old money Sophia Ritchie vibes on the beach in Capri so I feel like this could be really cool and it also comes in a bit of a bigger size in black I'm not sure of the price though I'm not sure if it says on here I don't feel like it says on here maybe I can find the label here we go I think this is it oh no that's the security tag so a label in here ah there we go at the back Let's see how much it is so this is 990 and then the bigger size is 1090. So actually for the bigger size you might as well pay for it. My last stops now is Jimmy Choo, see what they've got in here, if they've got any of the bridal shoes. So they have actually got the ones similar to mine, but these have just got the kind of gemstones going across the little bit, and then also at the top, and I feel like the bow is the exact same, it's just these rhinestones, so if you're looking for getting the Jimmy Choo's, these are really good. And I've also noticed that they have the pearl pair as well, but this is the pointed pair, but these are stunning. So I've just seen this blazer in Sandro and I actually saw my friend wear this for an event last week. It's such a lovely material if you can kind of come in close and see it. Love the shoulder pads and this is actually the size that I would want to go for. Obviously I'd put the sleeves up a bit and it's reduced half price. So it's 400 and this is reduced to 200. Such good quality and I've actually been looking for like a nice kind of like creamy white blazer to wear for spring summer and I love the fact that this is quite lightweight but it's still structured. So this could be an option. So just checking back in guys, by the way I always have my Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream in the car because my lips have been so dry recently, but what an unsuccessful trip. The only thing I did like, and I'm really thinking now, I'm like sat in the car, I'm like shall I go back and get it, was the Sandro blazer because it was such a nice fit and the material of it as well. It was 404 I believe reduced to 270 but I have... 10% off it um I don't know if to get it but it was just I don't know if it was like borderline a yellowy color but I'm like am I that in love with it or do I just save my money and come back another time when there's something I really love so I feel like I said it's always hit and miss when you come to Vista and today was just a bit of a miss oh I am getting a bit smoked up in here so yeah, but it was lovely to see Amy and meet little baby Hugo. We didn't manage to have time for lunch. And also it's literally been thunderstorm and raining. So it wasn't really the one to like walk around the shops that much. But I feel like I did go in a lot. I went Reese, Sandro, Prada, Gucci, White Company. So sad they got rid of So Home. So I know I would have probably just spent my money in there so maybe it's a good sign but I do love the sew home they have that I always find such good bits so I'm really good that they got rid of it and the fact it went yesterday um so yeah do you know what I think I'm just going to get a McDonald's and make way on the road because I've got to go over to Marlow now I'm going to go to home barn and pick up a coffee table which honestly probably excites me more than shopping home stuff so I'm going to go to home barn have a look in there because I'm so excited to go to the store I've never been but I always shop online on their website and I managed to find this amazing coffee table so they've reserved it for me I've got to go pick it up fingers crossed it fits in the car
to interior heaven i love this sideboard for our um living room i've been eyeing it up online and now i'm seeing it in person i honestly love it even more their pieces are so beautiful all antique reclaimed even this cupboard is amazing all the old little reclaimed stores i honestly couldn't love the shop more and all the antique frames i feel like i honestly could live in this shop it is so my style all these little urns they have massive ones as well and i came in which would look amazing in the garden so i'm gonna be stuck in here probably for a good half hour shop okay so i've just got back from home barn and i thought i'd actually show you what i ended up getting i went for the coffee table which i will show you but i ended up getting obviously a few more things i was just loving it in there so i found this gorgeous reclaimed very thin bench which actually works perfectly at the bottom of the guest bed here so you can see the wood of it this is just beautiful and i've literally been looking for a bench like this because you can see the space is so thin to fit it and then i brought this home and it literally fits perfectly so very very happy with that and then to match it and kind of tie in with this room i also want to get another one of these for another place in the house i just got this really cute little reclaimed stool now i believe this one was reduced to 90 pound um because all of them are basically different prices because obviously each is kind of like either vintage or claimed so i just thought i'm just going to put it here for now obviously i'm going to play around with it and this bit here the radiator will be covered and i'm obviously going to be getting blinds and curtains here but i feel like this room is finally starting to come together i love the two lamps now that i've got from dunelm i've got my pretty flowers here from freddie's flowers in the corner these i've just switched out they did have olive branches which looked so much better i had um a little bit of greenery in this corner which i feel like is lacking but we've got the pretty flowers over here so i've just put the twigs for now because i've put the olive branches in our bedroom and i feel like yeah the bedroom in here is looking a lot more put together and i just think these little reclaimed pieces have honestly made such a difference so this is the coffee table that i got and it is beautiful i honestly love it and i was basically going on home barn for weeks and weeks and weeks refreshing to find a table like this now i underestimated the size and i thought this would work but it's just too small for the space reason being is because this sofa is not going to be staying here we're going to be getting a bigger sofa and it's not going to be having a chase so as you can see this works with the sofa because of the chase but this area is going to be a lot bigger if that makes sense when everything is changed around so we want the table to be more of a focal grand point so we want the exact same style table because i absolutely love it i love the legs of it i love the wood just that really distorted look it's kind of a bit more like of an undone look rather than it being like perfect so love the style of it i think it will fit into this room perfectly when it is the right size so we're going to hope we can exchange this i'm going to call home barn and hopefully make a trip back it is you know i've got to make a trip but who cares because i obviously love going there and as much as i love this coffee table just needs to be bigger and a bit more of a focal point but i did also get this it's actually paper mache so it looks like it's gonna be heavy but it's super light i think this was around 40 pound i don't know if the sticker's still on it now i must have taken it off but i think this is just a really cool kind of piece to have on the coffee table you could put little bits in here and then to match this i also got this pot which is again a paper mache but it doesn't look like it and i thought this would be great by the fireplace once it's all done or styled somewhere in here because it just matches perfectly with that and that kind of reclaimed mid-century look which i'm going for in the living room also i'm straight back in my pajamas because i've got back and i'm gonna have a cozy night but i thought i'd also show you whilst i'm here i worked on this piece of canvas and i'm actually really happy with how it's coming together i'm going to put a frame around it so i'm going to get a wooden frame and then this is going to be mounted up in this living room not on this wall because i think this is going to be a big mirror where the big sideboard is going to go i really want to order that one that i saw in a home barn and i'm thinking to go with the black to kind of give contrast into this room and then i also got an olive tree i don't know if i've shown you this actually yet it's still got the labels on it i need to take it off i have been watering it but as you can see it's like a ball in the middle and the twigs are starting to stem out so it will come like that but i wanted just like a really kind of like 
uneven tree in this corner in the gorgeous pot that my mom and dad got us which I'm very grateful for so the pot will be here the chairs move in the arts move in this will be a big sideboard and then we also got this plank of wood, don't ask. Everything's a bit random at the minute because we're just playing around with kind of the wood we want, the reclaimed wood, because obviously this will be sanded and treated. And then we've got some samples of other wood pieces that we want to use for the floating shells for the arches. So we're just deciding on that before we can go ahead with the next steps in here. Hey guys, just picking the camera back up. I've just finished my One Rebel class. Honestly, it just puts me in the best mood, waking up, come and do my class. I did reform a Pilates, which is my favourite. Showered, and I'm actually having a bit of a no makeup morning because my skin is looking, I've got to say, it's looking really good at the minute and I'm proud of myself. I'm really sticking to my skincare routine. I had a facial actually with Elemis, which really helped and it's really deep off my face um, since Ibiza. But I'm actually just heading around the shops today because I've got to run a few errands. I've got like a few returns to do and stuff. And then I also want to head to Celine because I'm really on the hunt for some good summer sandals. And I've seen some nice like tan ones in Celine. I just feel like the Hermes ones I love, but I feel like they've been done. And I want kind of like a different tan sandal because mine I think I've had now for three years and they're literally coming apart. And I realised in Ibiza. So yeah, I'm just going to run some errands and then I'll pop into Loewe and Celine and take you with me. I also forgot to say, I actually went and got the Masma Duty top, which I love in black, which you'd have seen me wear at Vista in white, because if I love something so much, I'm like, why not get it in another colour, because I know I'm going to wear it. It's like such a good staple. I kind of underestimated the weather today, though. I did put it with some like black linen shorts. I'll try and show you in a better light, because it's quite chaotic in Oxford Circus right now. looking very dark hold on okay this is now very bright but we'll just work with it <laughs> but I'm just having a relaxed day as you can see my hair I haven't really styled it this was just from yesterday and I'm having a no makeup day again I just am enjoying giving my skin a little bit of a rest at the minute um so yeah it's no makeup very relaxed in my comfies but I want to show you what I got from Celine and also, I've just had my delivery arrive from Loewe. I mean, look how cool this box is. So we've got a little bit of unboxing to do. Before I unbox this, I think I'm just gonna put my hair up because it is looking very flat. Okay, I've put my hair off my face now because it was bugging me. I'm actually getting my hair done next week. I can't wait. I feel like my roots have outgrown. I've got no kind of like body to my hair at the minute and it's growing really fast. So yeah, I'm gonna have a little bit of a hair revamp next week, but I'm gonna do a bit of unboxing because basically I went to Celine and there's two boxes in this big bag and that is because I ended up going to the Harrods Celine because I like shopping in Harrods because I get my Harrods points. But then I also popped into the Bond Street store, which you guys saw when I was like running my errands and I ended up getting the other pair of sandals because I wanted to get both, bring them back, try them on with my outfit and see which I really loved more if that makes sense i definitely wanted the tan pair but then i've seen this other one and they were selling out and it made me kind of feel like if i don't get it now i know it'll go in the summer and they are very me so i'm going to show you both pairs and we will see so i actually don't know which box is which because obviously they both look the same so this could be the tan pair or the other pair that i went for so i tried on quite a few pairs in the store which i didn't actually film a lot of it you kind of saw some of the options that i was trying but the reason I was trying on other tan pairs was because they had more of like a base to them, which the ones I've got don't. But if I'm feeling this, this is actually the other pair. So this is the one that I found in store and just loved. And they aren't actually, I don't believe these are on the website because there's only a few left in the stores. This is why I kind of wanted to get them now and just see because I just think they're so me. I'm going to take this packaging off. 
but I just love these. Sorry, I don't know why the camera, there we go. The camera keeps going so over bright, but I just think these are so me. I love the raffia style with the logo here and then they also tie up around your ankle so this is definitely more of a summer sandal you can wear it very casual with your outfits it's not kind of just like a beach or poolside sandal and they do obviously have a thicker bottom and the cushion lining as well so they're a bit more comfortable whereas the other ones which i'll show you are very flat so i got these just because like i said i couldn't find these online and i went back into the new bond street store and i was running errands and he's like we've got one pair left in your size if you want to get them so i was like i might as well get them before they sell out and then i'll regret it so these are them together i just think these are so cute for the summer and i know they're just going to go with so many outfits and i feel like they looked good on my feet as well because sometimes i feel like when you can kind of like tie them around here it can cut you off but i feel like it doesn't at all and i know these will match with so many of my locks so i went true to size in these actually Whereas some of the sandals I was trying on, like the chunky pairs in tan, I was going down two sizes. They were really big, um, which I've never had before with shoes. But yeah, I found some of the shoes. I definitely had to go down a size with them. But these I went true to size, which were size five. These were £790. So they were a lot of money. But I feel like I will get my cost per wear out of them. Because like I said, my sandals are so old i've had them for like three four years and they're coming apart so i definitely wanted to invest in a good pair of summer sandals with like trips we've got coming up and like obviously our wedding next year is a destination wedding i want to be wearing a lot of summer outfits for that this is the other pair that i was on about these are the ones i actually picked up in harrods and i've got to say the service in both stores when i went to harrods and then when i also went to bond street it was so good i feel like they are always really nice in there and these are the tan pair and i just loved the design of these i feel like i really like the hermes ones but i do feel like they have been done and obviously the price tag is a lot more whereas these i just feel like are a little bit different i haven't really seen them been done yet I love Celine, I love the brand. The only issue I have with these is they are obviously just very flat. So it wouldn't be a shoe that you could wear like all day, probably like walking around places. They're more of just kind of like a holiday shoe or a slip on, slip off slider. Here they are. I just love the color of them, this tan with the detailing of the gold studs as well. As you can see up close, I see the Celine logo. So these are very like aesthetically pleasing. I find and these are more practical but maybe let me know your guys' opinions in the comments which sandals you prefer because I do feel like they both serve a different purpose I also show you what I got in Loewe because like I was saying Bista wasn't a successful trip for me so since Bista I did go to Ibiza I went to the Loewe store tried on the hat loved it and regretted not getting it there so I went online and I managed to find it in my size because the store here in New Bond Street I've got a lovely essay there and she couldn't find the size for me, it sold out. So, this is the hat that I ended up getting. she is so this is the canvas bucket hat it's got the loewe logo here and then it also has it down the strings as well let me take the packaging out so you can properly see so, so you can either wear it i guess this is going to be on the back you could wear this on the front and have these strings but i'll show you a picture of how i kind of wore it in the store just quickly tried it on and i had it this way and the reason i liked this was because this is really adjustable so you can kind of like bend it and shape it around your face which I liked and I don't have a bucket style hat and as you guys know whenever I'm in the sun I always like to cover my face so a hat really is essential when I'm away and I always wear my Gucci one and I just thought this one was a little bit more casual I can also wear it here in the UK like when I'm in the garden or going out so yeah I actually went for the cream it was actually another color it's actually in between this kind of like off-white color and the khaki one and I realized it's actually in the men's section but I couldn't find my size online because I definitely needed the smallest one, which was a 57, and then they also have 59. But obviously, probably wouldn't wear it like this with this outfit. I feel like it's making it look a little bit ridiculous. But yeah, I just thought it was a cute bucket hat to style up. Sure you'll be seeing me style this up in a whole better way than I'm looking right now. I'm still debating the sandals of which ones to keep, but I definitely think I'm going to be keeping the hat because it serves its purpose of covering my face, looking chic, and it's a little bit different to what I've got in my wardrobe. I know the hat has been selling out fast, so I'll try and find a link for you guys. If you are interested in buying any of these pieces, 
But yeah, I didn't end up getting anything as you saw from Vista. Maybe when I go back, because we're actually gonna plan to go back soon, it might be a bit more successful because we're actually got to go back to home barn, change the coffee table, and I do want to do a bit more shopping in there because I want to get the sideboard for the house. But there's going to be lots of home updates to come. I know you guys have been asking for them. Life's just been a bit crazy at the minute. With being away, coming back, catching up on work. I've had loads of deadlines this week to work on. And yeah, just catching up on life. Catching you all up in next week's videos of all the home updates. I've had my second render plans come through with the office, which is exciting. We're going to hopefully be getting the sideboard. I've got my garden furniture arriving next week. I'm going to start getting into my gardening. We've got some plans for the garden. And oh my God, it's so cute. All the wisteria and rose bushes have bloomed on our house and it's all just really starting to spring so I've got my new lovely pieces for the spring season I've been revamping my wardrobe as you might have seen in my recent videos getting rid of a lot of pieces and just having a bit more of a spring clear out of this and the house and everything else so I'll be updating you guys on all the home updates with the vlog to come so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it hope you enjoyed this one it's a bit short and sweet compared to the usual ones but nonetheless if you did like it please do give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in next week's video